So with your body weight squats, uh, the primary mover here is going to be the muscles of your hips and your legs. So we want to make sure we're engaging them properly. Also, we have to have a stable and fixed upper body so that we can actually use our lower body properly, okay? So from the front, I need your feet to be sh shoulder width or just outside of it. So let's say shoulder width to two to three inches outside of your shoulder. So that's going to be a wide stance. Now your feet, take a look, are square and parallel with each other and you can rotate them out a little bit, no more than 10 degrees, um, so that you can be able to just get into that good squat position, okay? So you're gonna maintain your weight in the middle of your foot, middle of your feet for the whole time. So my arms are bent at 90 here at the elbow, squeezing into my armpits and I'm also gonna squeeze my stomach and I'm gonna hold that static, rigid upper body position, all right? So, actually, let's switch it up. We're gonna take the hands and place them like that. So we're gonna place them together and underneath your chin, all right? You're gonna get your spine to be tall and neutral, okay? So it's important to get into this long position, all right? So, you're gonna place your hands underneath your chin, okay? Squeeze and then descend back and down, all right? You don't wanna to come, to, come down too low. You want to make sure that the hips and the knees are breaking the plane of motion together at the same time and the hips are going back and down, all right? In terms of depth, 90 degree angle at the hip, 90 degree angle at the knee joint. So, now remember that as you are squatting back and down, sitting on a chair, you, your knees will be in line with your two outer toes. So they, there is a position that they need to be in. All right? And they're stable and they're maintaining their position. So what you'll notice here is that the hips and the knees broke the plane of motion together, but they weren't migrating forward though. This hip joint is pulling me back and down. The knees go forward slightly, but not too much. And my weight is distributed in the middle of my feet. It stays in the middle of my feet. Now, if you look, I'm looking down, so I'm not looking up here, about three feet ahead of me. If I squat this way, I can feel my inner outer thighs. I can feel the front of my thighs and the back of my thighs. I'm also using the glutes as my primary, primary mover. You'll notice I'm not upright, so as I hinge back and down through the hips, I'm also leaning forward at a 45 degree angle with my torso, so I'm not upright like this, okay? So I lean forward with my torso, 